And then uh, refusal, re refusal to reasonably negotiate, meaning the doctor also has to be compassionate, also has to be a problem solver. Meaning? <laughs> let's, let's, let's use the pie theory, uh, okay? Sometimes the person we, we are helping was rear-ended by someone that only had small insurance. Right. Maybe, it's only a ten, <clears throat> maybe it's only a 10 policy. And, and this client or patient didn't have any uninsured motorists. Okay. So 10 is 10 and that's all you're going to get. Okay. And just generally speaking. Okay. So in this situation, let's say if the chiropractic physician billed up to $15,000, and he's already been paid from the PIP, the PIP carrier, right. probably eight to ten. Right. And we're at the end of the case, and we've collected ten, and he wants all of his five. Well, now you see, there was ten to start with. Yeah. The attorney gets a third. Right. So we're three thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. Right. There's probably some expenses that the attorney incurred, so just add five hundred dollars. Okay. So now you're up to thirty-five, thirty-six, maybe thirty-seven hundred dollars. Okay. And then when you say there's other providers, maybe an MRI company that has a diagnostic bill. Right. Or maybe there was an MD that's an outstanding lien. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a lien. But then you still have the doctor who wants all of his money. So then the patient's looking at you like, this the doctor and the attorney got all the money. Right, okay. Tell you what, we're gonna cover that in greater yeah. detail later, but I understand the concept. So basically, um, to some degree willing to work with you based on the ratios of what's available funds-wise. So it's the pie theory. Okay.